you know, this is starting to get to a point where every time I see a feminist video, all I can think about is how they keep repeating. It's, I just see a bunch of parrots. I mean, some parrots are even dumber than others. Granted, there are, you know, a few feminists that might actually have a, a legitimate point. But other than that, just no, 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 no. Is this video any different? I doubt it. I am very doubtful. I bet this person is going to use the wage gap argument, the, I don't know, women are underrepresented in media, etc., etc. Let's just get this shit over. Hello, welcome to my little rant about why men also need feminism, why it's not bullshit, why it's not stupid, and why it's a good thing, not just for girls, but for everyone. Oh jeez, where did I heard that before? Oh yeah, from every fucking feminist ever. I'd like to ask you some questions, guys, watching fr uh, from an article called Why Men Need Feminism Too? Really? I do. By Katie Kreitler. Hmm. Have you ever felt insecure because you weren't strong enough? Pressured to be tough, aggressive, and competitive beyond your comfort zone? Ashamed of your interest in cooking, fashion, dance, or some other activity because it t you were told that it made you gay or a girl? No. 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 That really happens. I doubt that that happens at all. And when it does, it doesn't happen very, very often. It happens to... You know, in certain areas, they're full of shit. <sighs> you know, I gotta keep keep in mind that there are plenty, plenty of male chefs out there. They're technically cooking our food. Hell, the people working at McDonald's are technically making our food. Offended by media representation of helpless adult men who cannot feed, clothe, or bathe themselves without the help of women. Where the fuck do you get this idea? I mean, men, hopeless men who can't feed themselves or clothe themselves so they need the help of women? I mean, granted, there might be a few guys out there that might need help from women, but, um... What? Just what? Burdened by the expectations to objectify women, have sex with many of them and be aggressive. <sighs> Helpless when dealing with feelings of sadness, hurt, and shame because you were taught to believe that emotions show weakness and that real men help themselves. If this guy wants to have sex with many women as possible, then by all means, let him have it. I mean, it's his lifestyle. It's his fucking life. It's not my... It's not my position to tell him what he can or can't do. I mean, it's the same thing for women. I mean, I know there aren't as many women who have sex with many guys as out there as possible, but still doesn't change the fact that there are women who do that. And as for the part about men, sh you know, hiding in their emotion, keep in mind that men do, in fact, show their emotions. I see men cry. I see men get angry. All this shit. Truth is, though, is that according to statistics, men are better at showing, at showing, I mean, not showing, hiding their emotions than women. That's not to say that they won't break down into tears. Were you ever confused about how to be sensitive and kind but still desirable? Alone, when you suffered an injury but had to handle it, afraid of being called sissy, wimp, pussy, or a bitch? None of those apply to me. Maybe I should just skip to the point. You know, I want to see how feminism is going to help. I, I want to see how feminism will help. Um, ambivalent about what it means to be a real man. If even one of these is true, then you need feminism. 
Uh, that is totally, completely bullshit. This is Batman. He's here to save their day and their brains from the brainwash of every single cisgender white male in the entire government because they want you to think that feminists don't want equality, they just want to be better than men, which is wrong. Well, two can play that game. Here I have is a, um... This is the Chihuahua from Taco Bell. Um, not sure if any of you even remember him, but he used to be a mascot from Taco Bell. Woof, woof, yo quiero Taco Bell. Woof. And what he's telling me is that, in Spanish, que tu dije es mierda. And what was that in Spanish? What you just said was bullshit for like 95% of feminists. In fact, they have the balls, literally, to call us feminazis. Let me just... You're comparing equal rights to genocide. Which both groups have something in common. They're both insane and delusional people who think that the world that they're about to build is a utopia. See, now I have you thinking, like, hmm, why are, why, why are men so scared? Why do they think, oh, well, let's just go come up with all these reasons why it's not good, why it's complete, utter BS? Why, why are they so, like, content to have feminists be overlooked as Nazis? Well... Jeez, I don't know. Maybe because feminists enjoy dehumanizing any man out there and, and claim that what they're doing right now is, you know, it's, it's equality. You know, they, they enjoy playing the victim card. They enjoy telling men that there are a bunch of misogynists, that the society li they live in is completely sexist. And when we try to prove you wrong, you completely shut us down. You, you completely shut us down. You know, whenever someone tries to come up with constructive criticism telling you on how feminism is wrong, the first thing you do is go, Huh? What's that? Feminism is not about equality? Sorry. Uh, we have to disagree. No, 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 no. The very fact that you just said that us people, the people who are opposing feminism, Apparently, we fear the feminist movement. We fear equality. And then, use the exact same logic against what, apparently, what we use against us, and claim what you're doing is right? You're full of shit, lady. You're completely full of shit. It's because they're scared. No, it's full of shit. Feminism is full of shit. And if I need to put it in a different language, I will say it in Spanish. Feminism is mierda. Which is why Batman and I are here. We're gonna help look, we're gonna help every guy look at the benefits, not just for the girls, not just for the transgender people, but for the, like, men, uh, cis men, sorry, um, who are so, so horrified of change, we're gonna help you look at the benefits of it for you. See, all the things that I first mentioned have just been overlooked anymore. Like, they're supposed, that's just kind of part of being human, part of being alive. It's part of being a male. And... It's just socially acceptable now, when it really shouldn't be. It's not fair for guys to have to look at the fact that, oh, well, I like cooking. I love this idea of, you know, like, all the, like that little time you can spend with your family or your, like, got one of your friends or if they even bother to come over when you mention baking or something. It's for all the guys to be able to say, you know what? I have feelings. I'm human. I like these things, and if you, you have a problem with it, 
It's too bad. Excuse me for one moment. What planet were you raised on? I must ask this question. What planet were you raised on? Are you really telling me that society has told men that we are not allowed to show emotions because of men are supposed to be emotionally strong and all that shit? Are you really that fucking stupid? Where? Where the fuck do you get this idea? Where? Like, it's just been socially accepted that guys are supposed to be these big, buff, strong figures that, oh, we never cry, you know, we don't be, no, we just watch football. Hey, lady, make me a sandwich. Make your own damn sandwich. Yeah, sure, because that's what society teaches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Society teaches us that men are supposed to be drones that have no emotions. <laughs> See, now let's get back to the part about feminism. It's the name may misguide you. Fem, feminine, you know, it's like kind of makes you think, oh, ladies, you know, females. But it's not. It's equality for everyone. Oh, jeez. I wonder what else have the exact same definition. Oh, that's right. Humanism, masculism, and guess what? The MRA, to a certain extent. Oh, wait, of course. Humanism, masculism, and the MRA, all those group of people, no, they're not fighting for equality, just feminism. Including the males, including the gender neutral people and the transgender people, everyone in the world, every single living person gets equality. It's good for everyone. Yeah, sure, like these feminists, they're definitely fighting for equality. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You're fucking scum. You are fucking scum. Fucking rape apologist, incest supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Is there someone else that can wait to see the ball? Fucking scum. Yeah, just no, another. I just, I just want to listen to someone else's opinion. I'm not even on a side here. I just listen to as many people as I can. You know what, though? Why would you pay money to fucking support a fucking rape apologist if you weren't fucking one? I never heard of saying that. Well, it's. Oh fucking scum! Over professional goals, How? thus minimizing their earning potential as their traditional marriages end. The assumption. <laughs> I'm reading fucking face. I'm trying to fucking. I'm letting everybody else hear it, okay? Not just for you, Mr. Entitled. <laughs> the assumption. I'm a scum. Very good. You can yell. How about we talk rationally? Why, why do we have to get off the campus? What are you so afraid of? Why, you know, what are you so afraid of in the I'm discourse? Here. I belong. You're asking us that question. I helped build this university. So you're afraid of questions? We're afraid of fucking fascists! We're afraid of you guys. Really? So feminism having the only, dis only narrative is not fascist? Right. You 
know what? You want to know what else I found? I found this Tumblr page. Uh, I forgot his name. But he showed me a bunch of links showing feminists going against men's rights. Explain that, Sherlock. And please don't tell me that these feminists are not true feminists because, you know, it's just basically like, just like Christianity. You know, they tell, these Christians will tell other Christians that they're not true Christians. And those same Christians who've been told they're not true Christians, they will tell themselves they are the true Christians and, and they're not the true Christians. Basically, it's the same shit. Everyone. And it's so difficult for people to understand, apparently. That's why I didn't use a male Batman. I use Domo. Lady, it doesn't matter what toy you use. Hell, I could have used Godzilla or any stuffed teddy bear in my bedroom. It doesn't matter because your argument is shit. I don't even need to use this, you know, this chihuahua in order to tell you you're full of shit. And your arguments, it's full of shit. I already debunked your arguments. If we, if we even call it an argument. Although I'm pretty sure, let's Google this. Is Domo a guy? Domo. Dash. Is it a guy? Is Domo a guy or girl? Hmm. The internet says... I'm pretty sure that the internet says it's neither. Why can't we be like Domo? Domo accepts everyone. Why can't we be Domo? The real question is, would Domo would be a feminist if he or she were to find out that, um, feminism isn't exactly, how should I say, perfect? Let's all be Domo and accept everyone. No matter if they're a guy and they like baking and they like cooking and they love gardening, you know, they like dancing, they want to be a male ballerina when they grow up, that's perfectly okay. I hope your dreams come true. And if they're a girl and they want to play football, you know, they want to be a professional football player, or if they want to be the president, go, go ahead, do that. Have fun. Do what makes you happy. Except for the girls. I can't, and the guys can't either, and I'm gonna sneeze all over you. What planet were you born again? Just... I... Because you think that, ready? Sneeze went away. The sneeze went away. I, I just embarrassed myself in front of the world. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, that you embarrassed yourself. I mean, the arguments that you have just presented. I'm surprised that people actually liked your video. I'm surprised. And no one has ever found your video. At least not yet. I'm, I'm, am unfortunate enough to keep finding YouTube videos like this one. By filtering out, by looking up feminism, filtering out today, and look at every fucking video on the internet that's related towards feminism. And if someone defends feminism like a blind, crazy person, then I'm gonna have to point that out, show them how much bullshit they're saying. You're like fucking ants. Every time someone disproves feminism, Someone new comes in using the exact same argument, using the... Some, some people use, create new arguments to make themselves look smarter, but at the end of the day, they end up looking even dumber than the last person. Congratulations, you have taken the cake. You are officially the dumbest YouTuber I have ever come across with. And that is saying a lot. But if I sneezed on you, I'd probably be judged for that, too, because humans don't sneeze, do they? Let's all be like Domo and just accept everyone. I like that idea. 
This is all I have to offer you. This middle finger is the only thing that I need to show how much hatred I have for your video. It is completely stupid. It is terrible. I want you to picture this middle finger in your head. Make sure it's burned in your mind because this is what you're going to be seeing for the rest of your fucking life. This middle finger. I'll be sending this video towards my friends. Especially Sparky Fister. He has more subscribers than I do and I'm pretty goddamn sure that he will enjoy tearing you apart. His fans will look at you. Look how stupid you look. What I just did was nothing. Wait until Sparky Fister gets his hands on you. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.